Dustin Long, Landmark Newspapers, for Kevin and also Gil, if, if you might want to chime in. You talk about you've had these conversations about what it takes to win. Uh, and I'm just wondering how, in, in this situation that you're in, how much, how challenging is that? Um, I'm sure it's one thing to say, okay, we want to win, but how do you go about and do that? And how is that, how is that thinking process different than, say, last year when it was, winning wasn't the concern; it was just trying to be competitive. How, how have you tried to force yourself or, or think of new things and and be willing to take risks or things like that? How how has it kind of challenged you? Well, I, th I think one of the biggest ways that we've been challenged is. Two years ago, we, we, we were in the chase, all, you know, had all three cars in, and we were third, fourth, fifth, or, you know, wherever we were at. And I think we were trying to hit a home run and I, to get to win the championship. And I think that we've learned from that mistake that we got to keep chiseling away every week. You get a little bit every week with these cars because the guys that you're racing against, you're racing against the best guys in the world, obviously. And then to race with the 48 every week and to get to the level to where they've been, they're not looking for home runs every week. They're looking to refine their product every week, and I think that's what we've done a really good job throughout the whole company this year is we've, refined, we've taken a product, refined it, and by the time we get to the chase, hopefully we've got it right where we want it to be. But last year we might have a car that we'd have to run two or three races, go home and turn it around and work really hard on that, whereas now we've got Richards afford us to have a fleet of cars that we've got probably seven or eight car downforce cars right now. He probably don't want to hear me say that we've got that many. <laughs> But we've got that many cars that are capable of winning races every week, and I think that's what it takes. That we can, we can show up at the racetrack and know if we have a problem on Friday or Saturday, the one in the truck is just as good, if not better, than the one that we unloaded on Friday. or don't do on the track. Well, I, I think from a you know the confidence level of, of what you. The way you race now is is you race knowing that you have a chance to win uh, with your with your equipment every week. Obviously, last year we were in a in a little bit of a slump and and really trying to figure out the direction that we needed to go to, um, you know, to make the cars better. But we've all won. We all know how to win. It's just a matter of get, getting the stuff right, uh, putting it on the racetrack so it's competitive enough to to be uh, in contention to win. And and um, that's what we've done this year. So the mindset is uh, is I mean it's so different. It's not even not even comparable just because you know that every time you go on a racetrack you have a shot. Kim Robertson, Insider Racing News, uh, primarily for Richard. Uh, you just made the comparison um, about Kevin uh, reminding you of Dale Sr. in how he's been racing at Daytona and of course you you won last night with Dale Jr. in the three car. Um, what does a weekend like this mean to you um, as an owner not just from you know your future with Kevin and what happened with uh, Dale Jr., but looking back on the history of this track that you had with Dale Sr. Well, Daytona is really special, and any time, like Kevin said, any time you win at Daytona, it's really special. Fortunate to to have won a lot of races with Dale here and win one uh, 500 with him in '98. Come back and win with Kevin in uh, was it 2007? Seven. And uh, you know, it, it was real special, and last night was a, a special deal put together through JR Motorsports and Kelly, and to and my involvement was being with the three and being in there and going and meeting with them and talking and putting that deal together was special. And to see him win the race uh, was, was real special to see the three on the board, and uh, uh, it brought back a lot of memories, not only to me but to all the race fans, and um, I had all kind of texts and messages and everything for people how proud they were to see it back out there race and then uh comparing kevin you just watch how he runs these speedway races it just he has that knack of knowing how to race on these speedway races proud of it the coolest part last night was the reaction from tony jr on the pit box i don't know if you've seen it but that was yeah. the best part for me I it, that it was, was great. it was an emotional deal for for a lot of people you know i i know a lot of people uh, called in and text and stuff about how emotional it was Anything further for these gentlemen? You got Bob, and then go back to Dustin. Bob can't get through without a question. <laughs> you can take your headset off now, the race is over. Yeah. <laughs> still listening to finish. Uh, Bob Pocker has seen daily. We all know who you are. Um, for Richard, uh, you said something. Have you heard any of this? Yeah, I've, heard, I've been listening. Okay. Um, <laughs> for Richard, um, during the during the red flag, or I'm sorry, not during the red flag, but after the 
last crash, you had said something on the radio that you were wondering if the white flag had come out before the uh, before the caution. Um, did you think at some point that that Clint had won that race? No, I just I, I said why didn't it come out? <laughs> is what I said. You know, was why didn't the white come out then? And uh, NASCAR made the call that they you know that they made, and uh, it ended up one of the RCR cars won the race. And uh, oh, it was out. I could see the white flag. We just never got to do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. It was just one of those deals. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, I feel bad for Clint and all these guys, but at the end of the day, can't but one, one of those guys win, and here we are tonight. I'm just glad that uh, the way all three of them ran, that we were able to come out of there with a win. And Dustin Long, uh, Richard, uh, just on that uh, with, with Clint, is there anything that you can say, I mean, uh, to fall from first to 17th, you know, he's still in a tight battle to, to get into the chase. I mean, there was a lot of points lost tonight. Whether that affects him come September or not, we'll find out. But is there much you can say, or have you even had a chance to say anything to Clint? No, I haven't. I haven't talked to him. I'll talk to him uh, later, uh, probably wait till tomorrow, let things kind of cool off a little bit. Because I, I, I don't know if the 24 got into his tire back there or what happened, but. I know he was not happy with the 24 at that point. Okay. Anything further? Gentlemen, uh, congratulations and thank you for your time.